if you know, it'll explode. And if your children or your grandchildren's children happen to be here, they'll be able to see it. Might even see it in the daytime. In the wintertime, there's a bright star near in Orion called Betelgeuse. It's even bigger yeah. and brighter than that one. <laughs> when it goes nova, you and I will all know about it. You'll see it in daytime as well as night. It'll be very, very bright. And they will produce black holes. Uh, so, do they know? There's no way to know. All we know is that these stars are at the end of their life, and that could mean anywhere from one to two hundred million years. And it could go tomorrow. It might have already exploded, but it's so far away, we won't know. We can't know. We're just getting the light now. From now, yeah. Uh, if we could see the horizon and the stars that are in there, the teapot is right in this area, but you can't see it. But that, right in that area there, it's the very center of our galaxy. It's part of our galaxy is right there. And scientists now are quite certain that there is a supermassive black hole in the center of our galaxy That's why it's that might be as much as 100 million times the mass of our own sun. Now that is big. It's actually small, it's massive. And it's still singularity. <laughs> right. And what it's doing is evolving the stars that are nearby. Yeah. The more stars that come down to the ground, the more in the center, and then it's a cannibal.